what's up guys uh, I guess I got tagged in one of these uh, you know go tag somebody videos for RC and uh, it was RC dude 81 that tagged me so uh, thanks a lot bro appreciate that um, I've always wanted to do one of these um, not really but it's uh, it's no big deal I mean I've had my face on camera before when I was talking about um, my Italian when I first got it so uh, anyway, um, just a little bit uh, about me. I'm, as you can see, I'm an older guy. I am 51. Um, I will be 52 at the end of the year. So I guess I'm a hair on the older side for this sort of thing. But um, I really dig the hobby. It's a lot of fun. Um, I first got into it about, geez, 12 years ago. Uh, somebody gave my son, who was, I think, like maybe 12 at the time, like this little toy, you know, remote control Mustang, this little plastic piece of shit. Um, and he didn't play with it and so I like one day <laughs> picked it up and I was running around and I'm like this thing's pretty cool um I just I wonder what the real ones are like you know let me let me go and I went on the internet and of course I did my usual you know five minutes of research and decided I was going to go buy uh, an HBI Savage I'm like this looks like a cool truck um I went to the hobby shop that you know I googled and found one that was sort of near me um oh Should I leave this in or edit it out? I don't know. Just fucking don't move through that. Try this one more time. <clears throat> so I uh, Googled uh, the nearest uh, hobby shop to me and uh, went in there. And of course, you know, the girl working behind the counter was super cute. So that didn't, you know, that didn't hurt. Got me interested in the hobby. And I bought the Savage, which I found out had been sitting there for like maybe, you know, six months. And she was so happy that she finally sold it. Um, and I, that's what you know got me into the hobby. It was nitro, and uh, you know I loved working on the truck. And God only knows how much money I pumped into that thing. And then I bought a um, a, a lo Losi muggy, um, which I thought was pretty cool. And then you know like a, I did it for like a year, and then um, I, I moved out of my house, and I had to go into an apartment, and I threw all my shit in storage, and it just sat there forever. And then last year, like around May, I bought this house. Um, and I was cleaning out my storage and I was like, oh shit, I remember this stuff. So I like got back into the RC, started, you know, messing around with my Savage. And then I, you know, went into the hobby shop to buy, um, what I thought I could buy parts, which, you know, I, there were, you can't really get them for those trucks anymore. And I went to buy, I think, nitro fuel and they're like, we don't even carry it. I'm like, what do you mean you don't carry it? Um, this is not the shop that I go to now. Danbury Hobby carries all the nitro stuff. They're the best. Um, this was another shop. And he's like, oh, it's all about electric now. And I'm like, I know jack shit about electric. So, um, you know, I asked a few questions and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, yeah, all right, thank you. And, you know, if I ever decide to do it, you know, I'll come back. And then, like, a couple of days later, when I, you know, had fucking blisters on my fingers from trying to start my... Uh, my truck for the 20th time, um, I'm like, you know what, maybe I will try out this electric stuff. So I went in there and I talked to the guy and this guy gave me a couple of choices and he ended up selling me an Arma Granite Mega 4x4, that brushless, I won't, I'll be nice, that brushless truck. And he was like, oh, you can convert it to, uh, you know, uh, no, it was brushed, my bad. So he sold me the Arma mega granite or granite mega whatever you want to call it the brush version of of what we run now and told me i could always convert it to brushless and i was like oh yeah okay that sounds cool once i get used to this you know i took it home and i ran it around for like you know 10 minutes i was like this thing's slow this sucks um and so like the next day i went there and he sold me like the a castle system which was totally not right for the freaking truck and then that's when i found armaform.com and started to really learn you know about electric and um you know light bulb batteries and brushless systems and blah 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 blah. and from there it went you know i went granite um what was it i think i, I bought a setting um mega as well freaking idiot that i am um and then i bought a creighton and then I bought the Notorious, and then I bought, uh, what was after the Notorious? Oh, no, I took that back. I bought the Typhon, then the Notorious, and then the uh, 3S Granite, and then the 3S Big Rock Crew Cab, and then the Italian, finally, the V4 Italian, and then uh, last was the Infraction. And I'm totally into it. I mean, I, I love wrenching on them as much as I love, you know, driving them. So, 
I was friggin' awful in the beginning. Um, not that I'm great now, but, um, you know, it just, I really enjoy doing it. And the reason I started making videos, um, here's a little fun fact for you, is not that I wanted to put them on YouTube. I made them for myself. Because I would like do these tricks, and I, you know, where every now and then I would pull something out of my ass. I'd be like, "Holy shit, that looks fucking amazing!" <laughs> but I wish I could see it again. So I'm like, I gotta start filming this stuff. So I started with like propping up my phone and shit on a, you know, a little piece of wood or whatever, or a chair and angling towards it. And then finally in January, I got a GoPro, and once I got the GoPro, I started really making videos. But it, the videos were first and foremost um, were for me. So I could see what I was doing and, and uh, just kind of relive the moment. You know, sometimes you can't get out there to bash every day. I mean, I'm lucky I'm semi-retired. I like to say I'm in between jobs. It's kind of a running joke. Um, but, um, you know, when I, sometimes when I just can't get out there and, and bash, I'll go watch one of my videos and be like, I mean, be like, that was freaking cool, you know, what I did there. Or that was really funny. I mean, I think the record is part of the, um, it's part of the game. I mean, if you just see the last video that I put out, um, you know, I'm not embarrassed uh, that I ball up my trucks. I mean, fucking everybody balls up their trucks. Anybody that says they don't is full of shit. Um, it just it's, it is what it is. So anyway, enough about me rambling about uh, RC. Some of the other things that I'm into. Um, I am first of all, I am jack of all trades, master of none. I am, you know, I get into something and I'm like gung ho for anywhere from you know three months to you know whatever a year. And then I normally throw it on the back burner and I move on to something else. There's a word for that. I think it's ADD, which I definitely am. Um, but some of the hobbies that I've that I've stuck with are um, fish. I love fishing. All right, I've loved fishing ever since I was a kid. So go deep sea fishing with my dad. He would charter boats. We would go off of uh, Montauk shark fishing. We would go down to Florida and we would go. I actually caught up. I have a six foot hammerhead mounted. Um, I think my brother has it right now. That's a long story, but we basically both caught it. Really cool, this six foot hammerhead. Um, uh, and then I do a lot of freshwater fishing. I do a lot of bass fishing, um, largemouth bass. Uh, I fish in one of the New York City reservoirs up here. I have a, a rowboat because that's all you can put in there. I probably own 10 rods. I probably own 12 reels and, you know, thousands of dollars worth of tackle and all that other crap. I mean, I, I love it. I haven't been out at all this year, though, um, which kind of sucks. Um, some other things that I'm into, like RC Dude 81. I love music. Um, I play, but I suck. I can guarantee you that I am not even a tenth as good as he is. Um, I have a Les Paul. I have a Strat. Um, I started out when I was younger playing bass. I have a Rickenbacker 4001, the one that Getty Lee played. I love Rush. So when I was, you know, 15, 16, I had to have that freaking bass. Um, and I have an extensive music collection. Uh, just you name it. I have a shitload of CDs and... Um, you know, my, my, uh, MP3 library is gigantic. Um, so I'm really into music. I'm into, I guess, firearms. Um, I've always liked shooting, um, even though I was never even allowed to have a BB gun when I was a kid. Um, but I finally, once I moved to Connecticut, got my, uh, concealed carry permit. They may, actually, Connecticut's really strict about, um, guns, but, you know, they're pretty easy about getting a concealed carry permit where you can't, it's impossible to get one in New York. It's very hard. I lived in New York for most of my life until I moved here. So once I got that, I went out and I bought a bunch of different yeah, handguns. So I have a, uh, Colt 45, a, uh, Smith and Wesson 357 snub nose. Um, six hour P229 chambered in uh, 10 millimeter and uh, 357 SIG. And I have a Glock, and I forget which one it is, but it's not the little tiny one. I need the full size one, it's the one in between, 9 millimeter. That would be my carry, but I, I never carry, I'll be honest with you. They just don't normally carry. Um, I actually just like going to the range and just putting, you know, holes in paper um, and trying to get good. It's a lot harder than you, you would think. Um, the first time I went, it was a, I was all over the place. Uh, actually, I take a couple of lessons, and um, it's one of those things that if you don't shoot all the time, um, it's hard to get good at it. So anyway, so that, that that's that's another hobby of mine. And then probably the thing that I've been doing the longest, which is um, kind of funny, is playing video games. I mean, I've been I'm not a hardcore gamer. I mean, there's guys out there that are you know, you know they they fucking are on their PC and they're playing you know 24/7. But I do play video games, and I've started with the Atari when I was like, you know, whatever that kind of 10, whenever the hell I, it came out, and I've probably had every system since. And I'm an Xbox guy. I own a, a 1X now. Um, 
Uh, but I had all the other Xboxes before that. And then I took, like, I was, like, off for about 10 years uh, in between the Sega Genesis and when the original Xbox came out. But uh, I do like my video games. They're fun. A lot of fun. Especially if you get a good bunch of guys. I was part of a of a, a group of uh, guys that were, at the time, it was over 30. We thought that was old. <laughs> this was, like, 15 years ago. Um, now I'm ancient. Um, so that's that. So... Um, as far as uh, the guys that have inspired me in RC, I um, mean, it's the two big guys. I mean, it's Duber Bash and RC Dude 81. So I'm glad that he tagged me because he's actually one of the guys that I, one of the first guys I started watching. And what drew me to him, not that I don't like Rich, I love Rich, um, but uh, RC Dude 81 was like one of the first guys that would actually like comment on my videos. And I'm thinking to myself, this dude's got like, you know, at the time, I forget how many subs he had, but he would get, you know, all these views and likes. And I'm like, this guy's taking the time to actually write something uh, on my videos. I thought that was that was pretty cool. Um, and then he's on the Armor Forum, and he would answer, you know, stuff on there, which I thought was pretty cool. I know Rich started out on the Armor Forum, but, you know, he's got so many subs. Now, if he answered every question, the guy would be, he wouldn't have a life. Um, and, uh, you know, he's great. So... Um, those two guys were, were the big ones for me. And now I watch, you know, I have a shitload of guys, you know, that I'll watch. Um, yeah, 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 there's so many decent guys out there. And I like, you know, there's the A-level guys and then there's the B-level guys. Um, I watch them all. Um, I, I think it's fun. And, you know, I, I don't mind uh, seeing somebody, you know, screw up. I mean, it's uh, it's part of, the, part of the deal, as I said before. So, um, and I, I guess if I have to tag three people, I'm not going to tag anybody that I know that has been tagged. I mean, that defeats the whole purpose of it. So, um, one guy that I'm going to tag, and I don't think he has been tagged yet, is Roadside RC. Um, I love this dude's videos. And I just love it because he's got his kids in it, and he looks like he's like just a, like an awesome dad. My, my kids are not into this at all. Um, first of all, they're older. My son's 24, and my daughter's going to be 23. Um, and you know they have no interest in this stuff but he's got his kids out there and and they he, he's like all into it and he just seems like super dad and um I, I, and i've seen everybody knows what he looks like if you've seen his videos you know what he looks like um so he's one um you know um 12 r1 was going to be one but um rc dude 81 tagged him um i love his videos though so um, I'm going to pick, uh, I think it's like Sergeant J's RC Adventure. Um, he puts out some good videos. He's in the military, which is fucking awesome. I mean, you know, those guys are, you know, laying it on the line for us. So, And he's out there <laughs> playing with RCs, which is kind of cool. And I'm assuming he's a sergeant, um, uh, given his name. So I'll tag him, and um, I'm going to have to think now for a second. Probably going to pause the video and go look, and I'll be back. I can't even believe I had to stop and think. Yeah, it just escaped my mind. This guy, Notorious J, um, is Canadian dude. He, he hasn't put out a ton of videos, um, but he's on the armor forums, and uh, he's just the nicest guy in the world and always willing to help. And he's always um, very, very lighthearted about it. He makes fun of himself. But I think he's, he drives fine. I mean, he crashes like the rest of us, you know, but... Um, he, uh, he he puts out some videos, and, and I just want to see him talking to the camera. <laughs> I love his – he's got that great, wacky Canadian accent. Um, and he's Italian, so it's kind of like a cross between the two, so it's it's, it's kind of funny. So um, those are the three guys that I'm going to tag. So anyway, thanks, uh, all you guys, for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Like I said, I, I didn't really start out to do this um, – as like you know like like just to get views and whatever and whatnot but it's nice to have to know that people have subbed my channel and actually will watch my shit um and throw a thumbs up and i got my 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 little uh crowd of uh, thumbs down people so thank you too guys because that does count um as far as youtube concerned so you can throw that thumbs down all you want um ain't gonna bother me so thanks for that so anyway guys i will see you in my next video peace Throw in just a little footage of my 10 month old bull massive. Hey, where are you going? Luna. Oh, you're getting your little toy. Uh, yeah, she's, she's, she's really funny. 10 months old, um, and she is 94 pounds. And she's going to go in there and trash her toy. Um, oh, she's back. Luna. Luna, sit. Sit. There you go. Say hello to everybody. Burrow. 
All right, you're free. Go ahead. You can go get it. Anyway, that's Luna. So she's been in one or two of my videos, so I figured I'd throw her in here. <laughs>